Jeremy, did you welcome in Haley by doing a bonding session? Did you go camping? Was there anything like that? I'll do some. Feet, we're six feet apart the entire time. Yeah. <laughs> With shields on and masks. Nope. I never actually saw her face <laughs> through the entire shooting. So, Haley, what was it like being in, uh, like inducted into the MCU? Did you get an initiation? Were you hazed? <laughs> Uh, not exactly hazed, no, but welcomed with open arms on all fronts. Um, I mean, it still hasn't really hit me. I think every day that goes by, I'm like, this is only getting more and more real, but it's uh, such an honor and it's so very exciting. Jeremy, did you welcome in Haley by doing a bonding session? Did you go camping? Was there anything like that? I'll do some. Feet, we're six feet apart the entire time. Yeah. <laughs> with shields on and masks. Nope. I never actually saw her face <laughs> through the entire shooting. But yeah, we, we, were, we had a wonderful um, bonding experience. I think um, connecting with, with, with Haley is, was the most important thing and, and um, being able to grab onto what our, uh, you know, the arc of what our character is going to go through and all that sort of stuff. And then more importantly, all the other random stuff that's going to happen to Haley that she wasn't really quite ever going to be prepared for. Right. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, yeah, but we, we got through it all, right? We sure yeah, right. <laughs> oh, so give us some background update on where we are in the MCU right now and where this series is taking place. Uh, we are um, a, a couple of years after the events of Endgame. Um, so yeah, Clint, is, Clint has his family back and, and is ostensibly living in retirement. Do we get a lot of more backstory then from where he's coming about? Because you've got certain characters in here who in the comic books are integral to his kind of origins as this super archer. Yeah, I mean, I think that's the fun is that you know, what you do know of Clint uh, through his time in the MCU is that he, he has this past that we haven't seen. And um, and you know that he's crossed paths with with various people. Um, and and so, yes, it's, it's very much about his past. One of the key bits we see established early on is that he's got a hearing aid now, which is, again, but that's like an old kind of Hawkeye reference. How much will that um, inform his characterization in the series? Does it affect him in any way? I, I mean, I think again, it was a, it was a, it's a great um, visualization of of his physicality. You know where he is. Uh, you know that the, the, again that he has taken uh, hits and and there's been a price uh, for him to physically pay. Uh, so I, I think you know it's there in that it, it you know it just shows you again that he's not in tip top um, form at that point and, and where he's been. But um, but yes, it affects things. I mean, again, I can't sort of say how, but. Um, but yes, part of who Clint is these days. Haley, how much of a newbie were you to the MCU? And would you say working on Bumblebee kind of prepared you for joining such a mega franchise? Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I do feel like from Bumblebee to other projects of mine, uh, they have in ways prepared me. But um, again, I don't know that this was necessarily something that I really could have prepared for. <laughs> um, but uh, very thankful to this guy for um, knowing the ropes because much like my character, I was looking to him for some guidance. What do you hope then for this series? What do you hope people take away from it? And I suppose, could we get a bit more of Hawkeye's backstory? Obviously Black Widow got hers, but are we gonna find out some the little details? Yeah, we, we this is the, the fun part about about this show, it, you know, versus just doing a two hour movie, we get we get a six hours to tell a lot more story and with a lot, lot more characters. So it's a little bit uh, I love the, the, the long form storytelling of, of, uh, of this six hour series, you know, versus uh, just a two hour movie. So I think a lot of fans will be really excited. To, to see yeah. what happened. I'm sure you can't tell us too much, but there is a massive hint that Yelena is going to be in this series. Like, uh, are we going to get a face off? Do you see this, this poker face? <laughs> <laughs> and see you, the Marvel snipers are like, wait for the red dots to show up so you don't give it away. Yeah, um, exactly. Well, there's a scene in the early first episode, Rogers the musical. I would love to know uh, what Hawkeye's, if you can think of, what would Hawkeye's song be in Rogers the Musical? What would his solo song be, do you think? <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I'm not sure. <laughs> 
Did you did you did that song get stuck in your head though? Uh, I could do this all day. Or you actually had earplugs in so you can still hear it. <laughs> method. That, yeah, that method. Moment, yeah. Uh, no, no, yeah, definitely. You know, we, we heard that song quite a bit. So yeah, it's it's pretty catchy. It gets it got stuck in, in all of our heads um, for sure. <laughs> Were you co- quite prepared for how much purple you would be wearing? Uh, Yes and no. I mean, I like obviously had an idea, but then didn't realize that my whole world was soon to become all and nothing but purple. (laughs) I'm not mad about it. (laughs) Jeremy, were you mad that you didn't get to wear as much purple for the entire (laughs) decade? No, no, I wasn't mad about that at all. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, well, I'm very excited. The first few episodes were so good. I just want you to pop up in some purple sunglasses at some point, please, Jeremy, tell me that's happening. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. (laughs)